Previously on The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, we journey into a new mystical, magical land, the island of Solstheim. We met a blacksmith, some new elves. We made friends, I think maybe kind of, sort of. We were tasked with finding someone's pickaxe, which of course we found. We also were in charge of giving out some drinks. We tried our best not to drink them. We kind of got kidnapped. We kind of killed our followers. We kind of retconned that because it was just bad. It was a bad situation all around. I'm telling you what. But hey, we know how to make fancy Nordic jewelry. We're now wearing this lovely crown. Lydia has a necklace and a ring. It's kind of getting serious between the two of us. What can I say? Today, we are going to be doing a couple of new things here. I haven't shown this yet. He'll do the goat. Every once in a while, he's like, hey, I've got milk. You want it? And I say yes. And she grunts, as she does, and I have a jug of milk. Classic. That is the spookiest thing my, my adopted daughter's ever done. She was right there. I looked over here. She portaled right into the table. Lydia, are you ready for today? Say something. Say something. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> that, that was something. <laughs> full, full credit for saying something. I also kind of sold some items, got us back here, got us fed made sure that we not are not only fed but but back at the tundra homes that I, this house is so great it really is but in addition we who what else happened i did a little inventory management just trying to work on getting our magic spells a little bit more fluid mage combat brutal like a lot of the times when i'm doing combat with just like a sword and a shield or a two-hand or whatever just just regular melee stuff it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But mage combat? Oh my goodness. Like, it is just like, switch this spell, switch that spell, drink this potion. By the way, uh, we do have our first skill here uh, to level 100. It is, of course, pickpocketing. We have really been aggressively pickpocketing people. And I'm pretty sure it's the um, where most of our wealth has come from. Just gold from people's pockets. Because when you... All the things we've stolen, we cannot sell. They're they're stolen. You can't sell stolen goods. I saw there's a speech perk in the speech tree to sell stolen goods, but it's like really far up the tree. I mean, it's not even like kind of close. Now you might be saying to me, Van, what's what's on the the agenda today? Where are we adventuring to this time? I'll show you. We got a dinner invitation to attend a banquet, and it, it's it's here at the top of this mountain. Okay. I swear this is a vampire thing. I'm like so convinced it's called Bloodchill Cavern. We're gonna go to Dawnstar and then like go up this way if we can. And the invitation, I did read it when we got it, but since we're, we're heading there now, we're gonna go ahead and just pop that out once. Dinner invitation. That you've been cordially invited to dinner and drinks at Bloodshell Manor. As an honored guest, you're encouraged to come early and mingle with the other attendees. When you're ready to feast, ask the house waiter for a menu and he will let you into the banquet hall. The finest and most delectable dishes will be on display. There will be no need for appetizers once everyone is ready and seated. A full course awaits. Come for dinner, stay for drinks. I'm like 99% sure this is a vampire thing. Got the fleetest thieves in all of Skyrim. Like 99. Okay, just like 99.9. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Okay. Where do you want to go? So Dawn's 50 gold for Dawn Star. Why are these ones 20, but this one 50? Climb and back and we'll be off. Okay. He gives like a little like tip about things. Is Hildy with us? Oh, there they are. And you Lydia, very good, very good. Yeah, thanks guy. We just had a little man in a burn. What can I say? All right, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll tell us a little tip about where we're going. And I wish he did it, like, as we were walking to the whack. Oh, I guess not this time. Okay. Oh, this looks cold. Okay, so we're going to pull out our flame cloak, and we're going to cast that immediately. And we're going to eat a jug of milk. Seven apples. And we're gonna just leave that be for the minute. Where did the carriage go? 
Yeah, the air is treacherously cold here. We're freezing. We're already chilly. That is ridiculous. That spell she looks has dangerous. Nothing. It is. Oh, we can damage people with it. Oh, she has a really good point. Don't tell me it's a dragon. Oh, there it is. There it is. No, 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 no. Oh, that's bad. It's a really bad start, right? Okay, there's our flame astronaut. Oh, a really good start. Okay, we have a flame astronaut. We've got a fire bolt. Where you at, dragon? Come on down. Come on down and fight us. There we go, there we go. Blood dragon. Missed every shot so far, don't mind us. I cannot believe how cold it is this place. There's a dragon, there it is, there it is. It's like this white icy dragon on top of like this white icy backdrop. And we are very cold. Like our health is just dropping. Let's we'll drop a quick save here. And maybe we'll just rob this guy for kicks and giggles. Or a calf hand. Cannot be robbed in combat. Hey team, we're doing a great job of taking down this dragon. Keep up the good work. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, landed on this roof. I don't even know if I'm hitting this thing from here. I mean, it's a long shot, but I'm trying. Is my Atronach not shooting? I'm gonna try and put uh, my flame Atronach here up on this. Here. Get him, girl! Get him! I'll just be here terrified. Don't mind me. Firebolt. Okay, I'm gonna throw my flame spell around me again. Just keep this going. And we are getting hungry. Can we um can we make this jump onto this roof? Let the dragon go. There it is, there it is. Because we freeze to death here. Just land! I'm not up there. We're freezing to death. We're legitimately freezing to death. We might not kill this dragon before we die of the cold. This whole, what is this thing? Flame cloak? Not keeping us alive. We are literally on fire. Oh! I thought it was just gonna coast over and blast us. I really wish I knew if we were doing the damage. We're gonna die though. We're gonna die from cold. Absolutely bonkers. We're ignored by the way, right? So like we get big damage. We get big damage bonuses in the cold. Like we are super cold resistant. Right, like if we go to magic, active effects. Yeah, your Nord blood improves your resistance to the cold in the environment by 25 points. And your Nord blood gives you a flat 50% resistance to frost. Like, we stay warmer. We're the warmest possible thing we could be. And our health bar is well under half. I love the way this dragon can land on these buildings. That is so cool. Is that not fireball? It's not. As we slowly freeze to death. We are not going to kill this thing before we freeze to death. I am, like, so serious, by the way. We've got to find something to stand on this warm, but we want to be close enough to... Does anyone keep anything warm out? No one's burning anything outside their house. We got to be careful not to walk right next to someone because we will... Yeah, where is the dragons behind us over here? Do not tell me it like got distracted by a deer or something. Where are you? Oh, it's seriously running away? No, no, no. 
we're numb. That's new. Total health reduced. You, you are 40% slower. Be careful. Yeah, I just lit Liddy on fire a little bit. We're just gonna pray we can go in here. It's the barracks. Oh, we, we touch anyone, we'll light them on fire. We're lost, we're lost. How did she know we were lost? Why is it not warm in here? Okay, it is warm in here. Oh, we're gonna die. Look at our health bar. Like, I know it's red, but the darker red portion is there. That's the you're dying thing. You're feeling warmer, but still freezing. I really thought this flame cloak would do more work. Okay, and then we'll do fast healing. They say that vampires attacked the hall of the vigilant, burned it to the ground. Never heard of vampires doing anything like that before. Wow. Map updated. Wasn't that exactly what the dude had told us? We're just trying to warm up. <laughs> oh my. Are these warm? Are these are these horker tusks? We might have horker one. So we'll just drop a quick save here. The graybeards. Now. Ian, you have nothing of Summon the Dragonborn to hide Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Really? Because we're so cold, it's actually like changed our screen to be kind of blue. We are drained and packaged. This is like such a rough start. That's the jail. Yeah, it's fine. We can, we can, uh, I bet you they've got a fire. Drop a quick save here in case this is off limits. And no fire. Man, are these just, I mean, we've got to sleep and eat and, and not get locked in this jail. What could it mean? The return of Dragonborn? Yeah, and who among good. us could possibly hold that honor and such power? I'm kind of getting the vibe that they, um, the City of Stone, a cell sword's guide to Markov. I kind of like that book. Darn. Evidence chest, belonging chest. Interesting. We're still just trying to warm up. Why is it so bad? Ah! <laughs> oh man, we're gonna have to eat soon or sleep. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked Whiterun. How could mere men bring down such a beast? I guess she was sleepy when the dragon attacked her city. The dawn started at a strange time, friend. Seems everyone in the town the is having again. nightmares. Really? Be careful. That is a strange thing. Damn faithless Imperials. If those white guards can take down a dragon, so can we. Ah, uh, yeah, it's true. That's true, guys. Heard about you and your honeyed words. Okay, gold snow bear pelt. Very nice. Gold, some leather strips. An ice wolf pelt. We're still just trying to get warm. I just can't even. Gold leather strips, saber cat snow pelt. <laughs> This guard's got bone arrows, and we'll save there. We'll also take this torch. Now, something we can do. I forgot this was. A thing. I don't know if we can do it from here, but see prestige here. How it's it's legendary. Maybe we have to sleep in a bed to do it. This bed is owned. We we might do it. We actually might do it. Well, while we're trying to desperately warm up, let me... I need you to carry something here, Hilda. We're going to give her some stuff quick. Okay, we are warm enough to at least walk out there and not die. Lydia, please. Please let us down these steps. Please, Lydia. No oh, man. All right, no lollygagging. This place is rough. If you know any true sons and daughters of Sky. I mean, it's not just kind of rough. It's rough, rough. We need to sleep and eat. Sleep well, no matter how much drink. And there's something weird going on here with. Oh, we gotta stop pickpocketing people. There's something. Yeah, with everyone can't sleep. 
Irgnir, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erendur. Listen to your friend. Do these friend. ladies know how cold it they is here? They are just dreams, my dear. You feel warm, but still chilly. It's quite normal. We're literally it's on top of this fire. Over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Probably Erendur, is evil. She has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. What is he doing? In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. It sounds like a... Thank Need you. a room? Sure yeah. thing. It's yours for a day. I mean, we've got to eat and sleep. To room. We just have to eat and sleep. There's a lot going on here. I feel I feel like we are just... This is not ours. If there's anything else you need. Okay, this one. Okay, let's sleep. So that's 10 a.m., 9 a.m., 8.42 a.m. Hopefully that gets us rested and warm. We're going to wake up hungry, which, which is normal after sleeping for 10, 11 hours, right? And we can pop some food. And I think we can do a skill thing here, right? Oh, maybe we can't. Why can we not prestige this? Maybe we have to have spent the perks in it first completely. See how it's those legendary at the top? There's a way to get these perk backs and like keep leveling up. Ew, maybe we messed that up. Maybe we have to, we have to be on a level up. So let's not eat then, because we'll do this. Oh, wait. that's the wrong spot. We'll do the tech life and muffle, and we'll, we'll get a level up here. So. I was wondering, Father, maybe you should take a day off and head into town. Because we're really close, right? Why would I do that? There's work to be done here. It'll be no good. Maybe you could visit Ergnir or Froki on your way out. First, you get the tech life. When they come in for drinks. Why would they be looking at me? Are they upset about the service? Oh, never We're just trying to get to Bloodshell Manor. And it is not, not, not going well. How do we make this legendary? It says just push. I'm pushing the button and it says to push. We just need one level on this skill. We're going to get it. There it is. All right, there's the level up. And we'll sleep for just an hour. Okay, we're in health on this one. Still cannot make this legendary. So I bet we have to put all the perks into this one. And then I bet it'll let us prestige it. So we would need two more perk points. Or maybe we only need... Maybe we only need the end one. Can we prestige it now? No. Rip. <laughs> no! <laughs> so Prestigio will put it back to its first level and give us all these perk points back. Which would be pretty, pretty sweet. Okay. Everyone's having some bad dreams here. Things are going on. I actually did not really want to get involved with whatever that is. Okay, that's a lot of food to not be together. What troubles you, my but son? But since we're here, I, I say we, we chat with some people and uh, not yes, pickpocket yes, them. And what might you need? Hmm? So uh, what is wrong with everyone here, Arendor? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger. But I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. Wow. He just lied to everyone and told them, all these people in this room, that he was doing all he could, which might be true, and the trust in someone who... So what could you do anyways? Dreams aren't real. How about, I'll say, then leave. This isn't your problem. Turn my back on these people when their lives could be at stake. I should say not. All right, we've got a hero Those here. Those dreams are not just visions. 
They're a footprint left by the oh. Daedric Lord Vermina as she drains these people of their memories. Oh, wow. So what's the plan here, guy? I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. You better believe we would. What do you mean return, by the way? I've already said too much. <laughs> if anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would Fair. simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Hey, man, we'll help. I don't know if that's today, but... Oh, this is interesting. So we can say, I can't trust you, you're hiding something, or I trust you, how can I help? To be clear, we don't trust this guy, but we do want to offer to help. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Who are these Mara Nightcaller leaders? Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Right now? <laughs> Who's the Daedric Lord of Vermina? Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. So what does she do with these memories? Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. Okay. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly... Okay, so I just did a quick Google search. This is, a, this is like a really long quest. Like, we, we're not following this guy, and I really hope this doesn't mess us up. I, I just wanted to, to go to dinner. We were invited to a meal, and it's been kind of a hassle to try and, like, get to this opportunity. So, can we stop that? Where was the meal? Guest for dinner. Yeah. See, by the way, uh, okay, let's talk to this guy. Need a room? Don't worry. Pretty rumors? People say there's someone in Riften that can... Everyone in town knows about the Black Door. And to never go near it. What's the Black Door? I, I don't know anything about it. All right, we're looking for it. Got any leads here, Thorin? Here. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men. I'm sorry. Let's just check if he has any salt for sale. Sate that appetite, huh? All of your He's got one worth... And nothing else worth messing with. Good day. Let's go ahead and talk to um The Wind Peak Inn features the Karina? finest bard in all of Dawnstar. I envy you travelers. Dreams aren't affecting anyone not from here. So do you work here all day? Yes. Ever since my mother died a few winters ago. Great. I play songs and help with the drinks when I have the time. Where'd you learn to play? My mother taught me. She was a bard from the college in solitude. Yeah. I hear they accept most people who apply, if you're ever interested. Are you interested? Oh, okay. Until next time. Okay, until next time. Anyone else to talk to in here before we go? Make it quick. Where did he come oh, from? I need a room. Come, come, I haven't got all No, day. he's not going to talk to me. Oh, I just trying to pickpocket him. The waiting. The goddamned waiting. Don't even yes, think same. about it. Yes, same. Okay. We were thinking about it. And we're slowly dying already. Follow me. It's this way. Yes, my son. Uh, nothing. Now just what trying to I steal your stuff. With. No this idea. Way, my son. I work for the Wind Peak Inn. You should head on inside. Yeah, she's right. We should. So. It's good to finally have a chance to help these people. We're gonna ignore him, and we're gonna put on our flame cloak again. Obviously, watching them suffer is being. Difficult. Oh, I was trying to find a horse. We just wanted this. Anyone know where I can steal a horse? Any any horses for for theft? Man, these people do not believe in horses. Okay. The power on that was our destination. People around here call it. Okay, that's where he wants us to go, but we want to go. Oh, do we want a horse? We legitimately have to get a horse. All right, there's a flame cloak. We've got muffle in our right hand. Detect life on our left. I don't know if we're gonna make it. 
And we're already chilly. There's no life around here though, so that's good. Blood Chill Manor was what the the invitation said. And we got this like right at the start. So I just kind of felt silly like holding on to it for so long, right? The invitation said Blood Chill Manor, but on the map it says Blood Chill Cavern. And who would live out here? I mean, this is just wild. I mean, look, there's nothing to farm, nothing to eat. I mean, this is just inhospitable. We've got our flame cloak on and we are still just slowly dying. We're literally on fire. I don't think we're gonna make it without a horse. I actually just do not think we're gonna make it without a horse. That's not our goat. We better start running. I thought we were running, we weren't. We're gonna get there and be half starved, half dead. So this is just detecting life. Oh, there's something angry over that way. See the red outline? Wolves. Wolves, wolves. Is this even the right path? I don't know if we can get up that one. What if we go left and a little right? Man, this is just wildly, like, not near anything. What is that? Uh, that's a deer. Okay. Do we hop up this? Skyrim hop! Skyrim hop! Skyrim hop! Ooh, our flame cloak wore off, I think. There it is. Flame cloak back out. Check our map again. I know I'm checking the map a lot, but I don't want to get too off track here. So we need to be more that way. No way. We should have got a horse. We we have to get a horse. Like, I, I, I don't want to spend the 1,000 gold, especially since, like, at the end of the day, like, if your horse dies, it's just dead, right? Like, horses aren't immune to whatever. We're going to drop a quick save here and hope we don't regret it. Uh, please say we're getting close. I mean, we're getting there. We're doing it. Whether we should be or not. I know there's quite a few, like, map things are just not. Like, there's a tower over there. It looks like a lighthouse on our map. It looks like there's a big tower on our right. It might be a dragon or a flag. But we're just going straight for this, this, uh, those wolves. No, those are deer. All right, all right, that's fine. We're just going straight for these. Okay, that's our flame cloak. We're off. The, I mean, the dinner party. Who invites people to a dinner party here? It just doesn't seem like the right thing to do, don't you think? Like, if you live way out here, you should come to them or, like, send a carriage, right? Uh, looks like we're getting close. Looks like we're getting very close. Blood Chill Manor. No wonder it's called that. We're going to get the... Oh, we can't go up this. Oh, no. No, no, no. Please. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're going to get there and we're going to find out that, like... I mean, we have frozen through the bone, through the blood. I mean, we're legitimately freezing. If it's not, like, right up this rise, we just die. I mean, it looks like we're right on top of it, but mercy... This is crazy. Why did we decide to go to this party? I mean, who else has been saying that for half their adult life or longer? Lydia, that's you, right? That's not Lydia. That's not Lydia. Oh, they're blue. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't His name it. is is fugitive. Okay, sure. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me, and I'll kill you. I mean, anyone it. that survived you out here naked in the snow, like I believe you. Pickpocket this guy. Why not? Oop, we missed him. We're lost. We're lost. This way. This way. He gets killed. Okay, we've discovered Bloodshell Cavern. We'll drop a quick save on this side of the cavern. And, did you um, see someone run past just now? No, we did not. 
Okay, we're gonna lie. Well, if you do, grab him and yell. Bastard stole from me. What's with all these naked hide. guys up here in the cold? Can't hide from me. Okay. So here it is. Blood chill cavern, blood chill manor. I mean, we're going in. Lydia, Hilda. I mean, everyone's left us. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So let's just muffle our footsteps. Don't want anyone to know we're coming. We're going in. We're going in. Okay, it says speak to the waiter. It's like Hildy caught up. We are warming up. I'm a little tempted just to wait a second and get warm. What's our weight doing? We're doing okay. How about Lydia? Lydia's here too. All right, well, I mean, we're all here. Speak to the waiter. Maybe it's kind of nice in here. I mean, it's warm. At least it was right here. Yeah, we're gonna wait a second to try and warm up. You know, it's gotta be warm in the house. Let's just keep going, right? What's the worst thing that could happen? I, uh, we should not have said that. You think those are like real gargoyles up there? They're gonna like come down and attack us? Detect life? Okay, something to notice here? Some of these things have no sign of life. That's kind of spooky. Like, who built this here, huh? Who was like, I could live near civilization, or I could live in this cave. Okay, bring all... All right, so see the lady on the right there playing music? Look at this. She doesn't light up when I need the tech life. Watch, watch, watch. She doesn't light up at all. Lydia just comes running in. Oh, something's not right here. Look, look. Yes. There's an elf. Red eyes. Kooky face. That is not an elf. Oh, boy. We cannot pickpocket this person. And what might you need? No, no, no. Okay, I, everyone's wearing like the wealthy I don't clothes. Owe you money, do I? <laughs> oh gosh! Ah, uh, yeah, you do. Pay up. What do you want? Are you uh, you here for the dinner party? No. How about just any thoughts? Any thoughts here, Galtius? What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Yeah, he's so dead. Uh, here for the dinner party? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Need something. Look at her face. Woman, we're gonna talk to the bard here. Need something? This person's busy. Of course they are. Okay, so I know our quest log said talk to the waiter. He yes, sir. Uh, we'll talk to him. Are all the guests it present? It seems so. Are you here for Indeed. the dinner party? Okay. Safe travels. Talk to Marina. Hmm? Do you think the food will be any good? Of course. Okay. You here for the dinner party. All right, all right. Now everyone's here for the party. What do you want? Talk to Ingrid I, here. Yeah. You here for the party? That is so. Of course, of course. All right then. I mean, who would not be here for the party? Yes. She is freaking me out big time though. I hope Refuses you know. to be talked to. I'm picking my pocket. Has this like ghosty instrument? So, open door. Let's use our detect life spell after I uh, muffle my footsteps. All right, there's a sign of life from this guy. What do you want? Oh, this is interesting. So we can read possible vampire cave. No way, it's the dude. Hold on, hold on. This is a guy from Riverwood in disguise. Okay, okay. The information we got from the mole was spot on. At first glance, it looked like an ordinary cave. I was ready to turn around and give up for the night when up walk these nobles with furs fine enough to sleep on. I watched them enter the cave one by one until there was one guy left. 
Then I tapped him on the shoulder and rammed my fist so hard into his forehead I heard his skull crunch. He'll be all right, though. It wasn't murder or death. He's going to need a new tunic. I heard a thread rip. Okay. Anybody recognize crossbow and 40 bolts, steel bolts? This is the guy at Riverwood, right? Dur oh, no. He's a little different. That was Durak. This is Duran. He's just pretending the party. Activate fertile soil. Uh, these look like they're ripe for planting a body. What do you want? Uh, mostly not to die. So we can just take all of this. Okay, why not? Thanks. Thank you. Fish barrel, more fish in a barrel. And it's not stealing. Can we um take woodcutter's axe? Use wood chopping. You need a woodcutter axe. Okay. So we're actually going to talk to Hildy. She has our axe. Yeah, I need you to carry something. So, Hildy, please uh, give us our axe. There we go. Now use chopping block. There we go. Okay, we hit the other axe. That'd be kind of funny. It bounces off. Okay, we got two firewood. Try again. Maybe we'll just get like, like maybe 10. Give it to Hildy. I'm not sure what we do with this stuff. But we've got it. Okay, we got two firewood. Total of four. I hope this isn't super heavy. All right. There will be... Come on, here will be six. Right? Six. We'll stop at ten. Oh, that's all there is. Okay, no problems. Yes. Uh, Hildy, would you please hold this? Every time I hand her something, she grumbles. Grumble. All right. All right, all right. Okay, we'll give her the iron mace of chills, the woodcutter's axe as well as whatever six five yeah they weigh five each oh that's pretty heavy i mean that's kind of like really heavy all right we'll drop a save here what so now? this guy's here to kill vampires he knows something's up so um hopefully we can become friends all right muffle our footsteps let's use the tech life here and that's a vampire no sign of life all right, we are officially warm, though. Let's try and get our magic back up. Unlock door requires key. Harvest some weird stuff here. Unlock door requires key. Requires key. Requires key. Oh, like sheep to the... Oh, yes. look, his eyes glow in the dark. Bro, you're pretty spooky, man. All right, we have a level 100. Oh, Never should have... Oh, he's terrifying. He's really scary. Let's see what he does to our face. We're in trouble. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This might be like, like yes. some real danger. Ah, uh, we're just, we're just, we're just here to, to, to take your, we, it's a thing we do. Thank you. Get Thank you for your me. service. Oh, we're in real trouble here. Oh. All right, harvest death bell. Nothing, nothing ominous about the death bell right next yes. to this guy, right? Okay, let's not hope we don't regret this. Talk to waiter. Are we gonna say I'd like to see the menu, please? Of course. Oh, thank you. Okay, dinner menu added. Items, books. Yeah, we're gonna read that. Are you kidding me? You gave us the menu. Dinner menu. Read. Drinks. There's some firebrand wine, some... Looks like it is a little suspicious. The dark light souffle, a twist on the gourmet famous recipe. Yeah, we're probably we're probably in real trouble here. This guy just takes off running. Hey, guy, where you going, guy? What's up, guy? Can we talk to her now? Don't speak to me, meat. Don't wow. speak to me, don't, meat. Don't speak to me, meat. Die! <laughs> I'm just kind of curious, like, how dangerous she is. Hit her, Lydia, hit her. All right, so one-on-one, -on -one, not, not tragic. Now she stopped playing her instrument, she calls us me. I almost feel like maybe we should kill her. Ah, so your gem. Run. Hope he kills her then. All right, let's go. Let's uh, let's get further in the blood chill manor here. At least it's warm. Full marks for being warm. All those locked doors. 
Talk Good afternoon. to later. Yeah, isn't it? Muffle our footsteps. Look for signs of life. This guy has literally none. Omnis is all get out. Okay, that's a vampire. That's a vampire. There's no way this thing is a statue. This thing looks so ominous here. Oh, there's two of them. Look, look, here's the second one. Like how this whole place is full of like weapon racks, not a single weapon in this place. Like, it's like it has almost the right things. Like, shouldn't these be holding things, right? And we can't pickpocket him or talk to him. Okay, here's my best get. Okay, here's the venison. We can read. Please read aloud. I just... Look at this cup. Who did this to this cup? Okay, my best bet is it's gonna be like a five on one fight really quick when I sit down. We're gonna please read aloud. If you're reading this, I'm dead. So you will have to hear my toast in spirit. Of course, a little business first. As I have no living heir, I've decided the manor will be bequeathed to you, provided you finish this last meal. As you know, I've always loved dinner parties. And so, for my final dinner, I've decided to have a few friends over. Varen, you and I shared a long and fruitful business partnership. But you altered the books to give yourself a larger cut. Don't think I didn't notice. Marina, you are my first love, but also my first mistake. For your love was not mine alone, and for that, I never forgot. Igret, you are my ward, and in some ways I considered you a daughter. But a daughter does not steal an inheritance. So I will teach you a lesson as a father would. These are all the people that were invited here, by the way. Lethal, we fought in war together and our bond is in many ways sacred. Yet I know the horrors you committed to survive. While I dismissed it then, I cannot now. Gautius, my old Imperial friend who used to drink wine with me at Sorau. Brother Vineyard in Skingrad. One night you drank too much and saw fit to insult my family. I told you I forgave you as you were drunk, but I didn't. Oh no, it's us. We're on the list too. Oh no. <sighs> Lastly, Vad, we've never met. I've brought you here on a whim. You are here as a wild card. A chance to change the fate of my friends or to revel in it. Much like my fate in the next world, it's far more exciting you see if the future is unknown. And with that said, drinks are served. So to be clear, um, those are all the people that were invited here. And on that note, we'll sit down. Completed, take a seat. Can we get up? No. We're locked in this cutscene. He dies first. Oh, he took a bite. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We're just going to get killed here. We're going to drop out our, our bow of shadows really quick. Because they're throwing so much magic around. We need to create some space. All right, we'll drop another quick save on this side of the fight. I don't know if we can do this. All right, there's our flame Asher knock. Let's go ahead and finish healing ourselves. Okay, let's go ahead and get a flame cloak going, which did use like all of our magicka. We're going to then put healing on our left hand, firebolt on our right, drop a save here, crouch down, throw out our bow of shadows. Is this should have us be invisible. If, oh, we have the flame. Never mind. If Lydia dies here, we're just in trouble. So there is Firebolt healing. And we just do not do the damage. And Lydia's about to go down, and then it'll just be us. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we've got no shot here. I have no idea what we're going to do. So, if Lydia dies, we just die. 
that we know is certainty. So here's healing hands and nature knock. We're actively trying to heal Lydia. Okay, he blasted us so hard there. Oh, I just do not know what we're gonna do. Like, this is like the worst type of fight for For us, this like close quarter. Oh, I really don't know. Let's get our flame atronach back out. Let's go ahead and, and see if we have any potions that might help. Okay, there's two magicka potions. We only have two Magicka Potions. Unless I'm completely missing it again. All right, there's our Flame Atronach back in the fight. Maybe that's the strat. We're just gonna try and keep the Atronach out. Alright, this seems to be doing okay. Rest, huh? Lydia is not doing well. It's not her fault. Can we heal her? A healing spell? Are you a priest? Alright, that's everything we've got in the Lydia there. Here comes our flame astronaut again. We're gonna throw out our bow here because it makes us invisible. Because Lydia is struggling, we're gonna grab our flame match on our right hand, healing on our left. Thought made us visible. If that astronaut goes down. It did. It did. All right, there's another. Oh, there's legitimately like four enemies still over there. Uh, Lydia's doing okay. She's hanging in there. Maybe we can get some damage going then. Oh, can we reanimate this guy? Please say yes. Okay, that is so much damage to our health bar. Where's fast? Healing? Okay, flame atronach on our right hand. Healing on our left. Quick save here. So we reanimated that guy. That's our first reanimation. Oh, we've got to heal her. Okay, we don't have enough magicka. Okay, all right. Oh, he's doing some kind of chain lightning attack. That's how he's killing us. Okay, we're going to drink a potion of... Healing. Specifically five of them. He's gonna kill us with that. I'm gonna run. Never mind. That chain damage in these close quarters is way too overpowered, guy. Okay, play match not coming in. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Um, flames. This gargoyle seems really resistant to flames. Trying to heal Lydia. Trying really hard to heal Lydia. 
Please don't target me, dude. Please don't target me. Just do not target me. Or just hide in the corner. Just throwing out our flame matronac, just praying we can make it. Oh, do not come for me. Okay, Lydia went down. So we're gonna pull out our bow so that we're invisible. Try and just get a look around at what's going on here. He got us with the chain lightning. I mean, we're invisible. We're completely invisible right now. Maybe we run back over towards Olivia here. Instead of pulling out our, our bow. So Lydia went down to just the flame atronach from Best Live. So here's the plan. We're gonna try and heal her. Victory is yours. I Lydia, please get back in this fight. It is so up to her and we need her out of this corner so we don't get blown up. Okay, Lydia's above half health. We've got to get her back in the fight. Her bow and arrow thing, not doing it. She's going to get us killed. Did you see that chain lightning blast us? This is such a bad situation. Like, it just really is. Like, I'm really not sure what we're supposed to do here to, like, handle this better. Are we summoned in our zombie? Maybe he's a better distraction. No, 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 guy. Do not shoot me, please. Zombie back in. Like, maybe he's cheaper so we can just keep throwing him out. Zombie back in. I don't think this is working. We're gonna start throwing some bombs like that. that's going to help at all because most likely series of events us throwing something like that gets Lydia killed we are completely relying on that zombie to stay alive no dude no dude no 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 is she alive Lydia if Lydia is dead we can't win I don't see Lydia anywhere. We're gonna go ahead and muffle our footsteps. As soon as we have the magic for it. All right, footsteps muffled. We'll go pull out the bow. We're invisible. We're completely invisible, dude. Like, all my big destruction spells, Lydia's way too low of health, which means that she's just gonna get blown up. So we'll try and stick with, I guess, the fire, just flames and... the... the sound. I actually do not see Lydia anywhere. We gotta find her. 
Even if it means we get blown up here. Is that Lydia? Oh, here's the dude who's supposed to be working with us. Okay, maybe we hold up in this corner. Let me see, can I reanimate somebody here? I've reanimated this corpse. I'm gonna pull my bow. Uh, well, can we throw a fire bolt in there? Lydia's alive. Can we try and heal Lydia? Is it working? I mean, she's just carrying the whole team here. Healing on my left, Zumber. No, 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 no. Okay, who's on the ground? Ah, Lydia. So she's on the ground now, which means we just cannot fly as key. The waiter's at full health. The gargoyles are pretty much at full health. Man, this is just the worst. We're dead. Oh my goodness, we survived somehow. Okay, here's fast heal. And can we get some healing on Lydia? Are you a priest? What's her health look like? Oh, it's tragic. Okay, that spell almost just blew us up from forever away. Wow, all the way up the steps. Pretty sure we're moving slower as well. Okay, let's just heal quick. And if we get a, something out to help Lydia, that'd be awesome. Oh, the gargoyle is down. Is it finally like... About to say a fair fight, but here come the gargoyles. That's healing. Oh, this is just insane, dude. This is just insane. I've really been questioning the legendary difficulty, and not because, like, oh, it's really tough, but more like, is this how combat's supposed to be? Ah, oh, Lydia's down again. Lydia is down again. Ah, oh, tomato. Nice. I mean, um... We're invisible. Where are you? Shut up, Hildy! <laughs> oh, I cannot believe our, our goat just tried to tell everyone where we were. Man, they killed that flame atronach so quick. Oh, look, a tomato. <laughs> oh, man. Please say there's like damage happening, guys. No, 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 not to me, not to me, dude, not to me. 
Ugh. Is this even possible? Like, have we just put ourselves in, like, the worst possible position? Where were we at here? Okay, so we're trying to get our flame astronaut in because it does damage. Dude, dude, dude. Shoot somebody else, man. Hilly's over here just eating these dead remains. Hilda. Stop that. Ah, oh, sweet roll. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Lydia's like at zero health. Why doesn't she say something? And they just wrecked everyone again. Here we are invisible again because we cannot do anything. Oh, we can. We're just letting our magicka regenerate so we can summon in something. I think that waiter is regening health from his. Please, you cannot see me. I'm invisible. Lydia, pl please stand up. I, got, I, I think that that waiter is is regenerating health. Oh no, dude. By like uh, hitting people. Man, he destroyed our flame matcher not quick. I was really hoping the flame Atronach would like do real damage. But it just backs up and throws fire, which isn't bad per se, but like. Like, look at that Gargo's health. She's shooting him, it's not going down. Like, we've got to get something else we can conjure in. <laughs> Maybe we can... Oh, don't kill me, dude. Fast healing on the left. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh. I was trying to get down there so I could try and heal someone so we can get them in the fight, but like, I don't think any of these three things are even low. Oh, he just blasted us into the, just the ceiling. We're not even like in a death loop. We're just like in over our head. We're gonna pull out the bow this time, so we're invisible. How does he see us? How does he see us? I've never heard Lydia scream like that, and we've been together a long time. Oh, man. Like, does our zombie do better work? No, no, not me, dude. Not me, dude. I'm not on the menu. I'm so stuck. I'm stuck on a chair. I'm stuck on a chair. Uh, that's heal others. Wish there was a slightly more intuitive way that spells would work. I'm not sure exactly what that would look like. I'm just saying. I run down here and heal this dude? 
Guy, 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 let me heal you. Is this working? Please say this is working. Oh, please say that did something. Just checking if we can escape here. Well. Okay, she seems to be dead. Vampire dust, vampire armor. Right, boots, awesome. So it looks like we could just run. I'm gonna drop like an official save here. Okay, so I just checked, you can. You can get here at level 12. At level 12, you unlock. You unlock this place. I, I just am not sure how you're supposed to deal with. Reanimate corpse. Can we get the vampire to fight for us? Yes, will she do vampire stuff though? Now she's mind barred, cool. Please come fight. Please, we need we need your help in the fight. There's a flame at your neck, healing hands on my left. Is someone there? You can't hide from me. How are those gargoyles still full health? Like, how is that possible? Oh, they're all after me. No way. Okay, we reanimated another corpse. We also have... Oh, that lightning spell is wild. I'm just running. I'm just running. He's still chasing me. He is still chasing me. Oh, a treasure chest. Nice. This is where they dump the bodies. How can he shoot his spell in the water? I can't. Like, I hit him for damage there. I saw it. I saw it. There was real damage. The waiter's definitely weak to fire. But I'm just not sure it's going to matter. I don't think these gargoyles take any fire damage. How is he able to hit me? No shot, dude. Dead. What are you supposed to do here at level 12? And Lydia's down. Okay, can we heal Lydia? I have no idea how we kill this guy. A healing spell? Are you a priest? Yeah, he's full health. <laughs> what about all that fire? Is he even taking any damage? No, he's just healing. That little thing is healing him, and then he's just blasting us with lightning. Look at that, he's on... I don't have a stronger spell. Yeah, there's clearly a way to do this, and I, I don't know what that is. But I, I couldn't imagine showing up at level 12 for this. So we are going to pop a quick save, and we're going to go into the settings, gameplay, and we're going to go down... What's the lowest difficulty? Novice, Apprentice... Adept, Expert, Master, Legendary. So one, two, three. One, two, three. We'll, we'll go for the Adept difficulty. And we'll just try and clear this on that. Because we are just getting our, our butt kicked in right through the top of our head here. I mean, I, I just have no idea how we're supposed to do this. Because clearly what we're doing does not work. So the way the difficulties work... 
Notice how, like, minimal his damage was compared to, like, a moment ago. Means we can actually, like, fight with him and stuff. The way the... The difficulties work, we just take three times the damage. And we deal one-fourth of the damage on the higher difficulty. Is the, did Lydia just die? Did Lydia just die? Is that how she's been dying? Oh, she's alive. We're not. Oh, this is epic. Oh, right on the roof. Nice. I thought our flame Atronach, when it dies, it explodes. I thought that killed Lydia. Okay, so we're going to summon in our zombie instead. There you are. Okay, we're going to do healing on our left. And a fire boulder on our right. <laughs> about it, dude. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness, dude. So I don't think he can life steal our zombie. I don't want to get chain lightning here. Oh, come on, dude. I don't want to get chain lightning. Come on, run forward, run forward. Oh, that ice spell is wild. Still hit us. I'm just closing the doors. I'm hoping gargoyles can't open doors. Lydia, you fool. Please just go fight him for real. This whole, like, she runs around. There's our zombie. Okay. Our zombie just got wrecked. Look, he's upside down. Is he dead or not dead? Nancy! Oh, no. Come on. Please tell me he's not been up there just healing away. This guy can heal like, like we're just quitting. I have no idea. Vampires should only be allowed to heal if they can life steal. I get there's there's reasons you want to have a follower who can have a ranged attack. I 100% do not want a follower with a ranged attack. We just don't have the ma oh come on. We don't have the magic of Oh he got us again with it. No magica, no magica, no magica. He's gonna kill us while we try and resummon in our zombie. Oh he really is. I was kind of kidding. But apparently not. I don't have the magic to heal. Oh, it's all about the magic. I'm just trying to get our zombie out. Come on, Nancy, get him, Nancy, get him. Just trying to shoot a fireball here. The big one. Do not believe this submission, guys. Come on, we've fallen for this before. Yes, like this, you terrible vampire scum. This is it. Like, we're going for these for these Dawn Guard. 
He's on fire, he's on fire. Please tell me that's the end for him. Oh my goodness, where is the body? No body means he's not extra dead. He could be alive somewhere. I know the combat music isn't rolling, but like, no, just, okay, Lydia. Lydia, give us a second to heal you. Okay, please. Please just accept this, all right. I wish when we were healing our allies, we could Are see that they're being healed. Yeah, I wish we, oh, here's his body. Yeah, he's dead. Vampire dust. Robes and boots. Lydia, like, I'm, I'm tuckered out. I'm about to be so starving, I can't even function. Uh, we got a jug of milk. An apple. Oh, that's raw. That's cooked. That should be well fed. We're gonna drop a quick save here, and we're gonna leave it on this difficulty and go after those gargoyles. It looks like the gargoyles have some kind of magic resistance, uh, which is okay. We're just gonna do the best we can. You take him out. And we'll use our firebolt. Come on, guys. Oh, it did reset it. I don't know, though. Oh, where's the team? Where's the team at? Oh, look, we're actually doing damage now. Oh, they're crazy out there. Right no way, dude. They killed our zombie already. And the corpse we reanimated. Uh, we'll reanimate another. No problem. Get another. We'll do a lightning bolt this time. Why not? And then we'll try a fire bolt. Oh, they can also do that healing thing. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, we missed, we missed. No, no, no. Dude, don't kill me, man. Somebody get in this, please. I'm just spamming my heal spell here. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, Lydia, come on, you've got to get back in this fight. Oh, he's fast. Okay, we can reanimate a corpse again. Can we get this gargoyle to fight for us? Yes, gargoyle fight. Come on, Lydia, get back in the fight. You can do it. Why is he not fighting the gargoyle that's attacking him? Okay, conjure zombie. Okay, apparently we won. Search gargoyle. He's got some ore, gems, eight bolts in him. I give up. I mean, this is crazy. This is just legitimately crazy. All right, we'll go back to settings. Gameplay. If you know the secret to, like, what we needed to have done to beat this on Legendary, I, I don't know. I don't think we have the right stuff in our toolkit. Maybe I've messed up a perk somewhere that would have just changed the whole fight. I, I mean, I have no idea. I just want this gargoyle to go away. Uh, actually, we could just reanimate the other guy, and then this should work, right? Then he'll fall apart, right? Yeah, there we go. We'll leave a big pile of... Oh, they have, like, gems in them and ore. That's kind of cool. Okay, reanimation. Let's grab the other guy just to just to get get a nice, nice body dump going on, I guess, huh? Oh, he's 
too powerful. Take bone arrows? Nice. Yeah, I believe it. Alright. How are you doing? How's it feel to be dead? Or now zombified? Uh, double check we reset the legendary gameplay. Yeah, it is. Legendary survival. Awesome. So who's the actual survivor? I think it's the guy from the, the Dawn Guard, right? Empty. Let's go ahead and reanimate him. Uh, just for the... Who said that? Where exactly is our quest marker? Look, look, look. The child is a little vampire doll. Oh, man. You think the waiter was secret... Oh, yeah, this guy is here. You think the waiter was secretly... Where was this guy hiding, huh? You'd better be careful with that magic if you know what's good for you. Talk to Dongar. Get away from me. You'd better be careful with that oh, magic. Oh my goodness. If you know what's Listen, good for guy, you. the vampires are all dead, and the will says the house belongs to me. I mean, that's technically true if we survived the dinner and this guy didn't even show up. Very good. But you've created a debt between us. Here. Take What's this. the debt? We're even now. Yeah. Okay, so we got a thousand gold. Get away from me. Is this really our house? Yep. Right here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's only one way to find out. We'll sleep in the bed. It's our bed. Um, 12 a.m., 11, 10, 9, 8... 8 a.m.? Sure, why not? Oh, this is so crazy. I just thought, like... I thought we'd get ambushed, right? Like, I thought there'd be a vampire thing going on. I didn't think it would be, like... A super wizard lord and his undefeatable gargoyle, you know, lackeys. Those gargoyles took no damage, and we couldn't stop all the lifesteal. Hilda's got some milk. Hilda... Give us the milk. Grunt. We're not eating yet. Oh, strong box is empty, but there's some random gold here and a garnet. And it's ours. I mean, we we own the house. Potion of blood? What is that? Maybe it's food. It's not in our potions. Maybe it's miscellaneous. Did we just drink it by mistake? Oh, there it is. There it is. This is equivalent to feeding on human blood for vampires. Vampires heal 100 health points and restore 380 points of hunger. Whoa. So I guess the real question is... Oh, he lives here now? Cool. We needed, we needed a weird roommate. I guess the empty wine bottle. Awesome. I guess the real question would be... The vampires. How are they connected to the, the homeowner? Because it seems to me like there's a real poss... I'm just looking for any good loot in my new home. We do need... Ex do we even get a key to this place? Empty chest. A whole bunch of books. I'm just not up for dealing with books right now. I mean, that vampire fight just took it out of me. All right, let's see here. Greater Soul Gem. Awesome. Spell Tome Conjure Mistman. Spell Tome Necromantic Healing. Yep, those we're going to take. Some kind of weird, wacky symbols. Okay, scroll Lightning Rune. Scroll Frost Thrall. Take a Heartstone. Take soul gem fragments. There we go. Get that bowl out of the way. So the soul gem fragments, if I'm remembering correctly, it's another creation club add-on, which is the something to do with like. Yeah. Where are we gonna put this bowl? Yeah, put it this other one. Perfect. 
Like vampire robes, some more nightshade. Like they only grew things that kill things. Draught of vigor. All these are so far empty. Okay, here's the warrior's charge. An old poem of the Red Guards. We'll take that one. That one sounds like fun. Book of the Daedra. We should probably take that. I bet we have a copy. I don't know why we took that inkwell, but for now we're going to take one. Leave us alone, yeah. guy. This is our house. What are you doing here? The fragmented soul gems. They, these ones, these fragments. Uh, arrows. There's some kind of special arrow you can make. Frost salt, frost salt, fire salt. Grand soul gem. We're going to move this. Vigor poison. Another kooky book. Enchanter's draw. I wonder how valuable. Use the staff enchanter? What is this? So we can make an enchanted staff. That's kind of cool. I wonder if that wouldn't drain our magicka if we use it. Oh, check this out. Vampire royal armor. Vampire armor. Vampire armor. Those are like three different sets. Vampire gauntlets. Gauntlets. Leather hood. Vampire hood. Take the ebony helmet. Value of 750. What is this? Ebony gauntlets. What other good loot is in here? Maybe we have to read the books. Is this a neat place? What are these? Vampire boots. Vampire boots. Lydia, my dear, we um, we um, we might have a new new outfit. Do these regrow? Anybody know? I, I would love to know if these things will regrow. Cough. We can sleep in the coffins. No way. <laughs> what? All right, Lydia, well, now you know. The vampires do sleep in a coffin, even if they have a bed. So they must have brought those in. So I feel like the vampires moved in after and then took advantage of the will to, like, get people to come here. What is this? Empty jar? All right, thanks. Sack of flour. But you know what? We're going to move all of these books to um, Hilda. All the books and the armors. Well, we got a free house. All we had to do was... Wasn't there a spell tome, actually, Hilda? Ooh, I think there's a new spell. Conjure Mistman. So we're going to take that and heals the undead target, but not the living Atronach or Machines. That's kind of... Hilda, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. Have to try on these clothes. Ebony Gauntlets. I mean, 18 armor's pretty Cool. It's all right. We can run again. Right, we'll go back to our explorations. Another bed. This is like a children's room. We're going to leave the vampire doll right there. We're going to leave oh, another one. How many vampires lived here? Okay, there was one to the right. Run to the right. Come down here. What if we went left? Just in case. Oh, shoot. Iron ingots. What is this one? Refined malachite. Malachite. So we can smith stuff in here. It has its own smithy, a tanning rack. That's pretty sweet. Here's a mammoth tusk just lying around. And quicksilver and stealing gods. Like, I mean, there's some really valuable stuff here. I mean, look at this. What is this? Nordic carved helmet? Ebony ore, quicksilver ore. Place too messy. Okay, so what is this? Open door. We have our own little prison cell? Wow, we, I mean, we've really undone, undone ourselves. One, one an empty wine bottle, a chair, a poop bucket. I mean, this is, let's leave that open. Hildy, we're stuck. It's your fault. Excuse us. We can't foos her. Enemies can't mess with her. I found out like Hildy's untargetable and unkillable. Okay, she sat down. We still cannot get through this gap. Hildy, you terrible creature. Why would you do this to us? Like we, we legitimately cannot. I really do like the design of this place. It's really fun. We can use the oven. Darn, we're probably gonna have to like leave all this food. What is this? Oh, like a well? So we have to go outside? Man, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, last room, which is the one we're in. So this should be the quickest one, right? Except for the mess. There's an apple pie upside down on the floor. So these are a weapon rack, initiates, tr place draw knife, harken sword. Oh, these are named weapons. Dongard, Hammer, Zephyr. I don't know what these are. Yeah, place Wooden Mask. 
These all have like specific names. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I don't know what these are either. Moth in a jar, ruby paragon. Oh, the claws. Okay, okay. All right, so this is a cool place. It is technically ours now. We do have like it. I mean, ignoring the mess. I mean, this place is just disgusting. We can plant. So it's actually a really cool place, all in all, right? Like we can plant things here. And now that we cleared out the vampires, right? We can we can plant things and grow them. It's got a place to smith things and craft things. Right, a whole crafting area, our own little jail. We have a be two bedrooms for you know small children. We have you know one kind of master bedroom here with its own little fire. We've got coffins for your vampire guest. I mean it's we can we can use the staff enchanter, a potion thing. We can is that a recipe? Sure, we'll just take this random recipe. Whoops. Uh, we can make potions. We can disenchant things. Like it's a full, it's a full service spot. It really is. I mean, it's got it's got all the stuff. It's just in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna clear out all these books and try and get us back to to Tundra Homestead. Sell what we can in between this episode and next. Do we have a level up thing going on? We probably will by the time I walk back there and you know pop my one millionth whatever this is. One of these. So he is not a vampire. Confirmed. Look at these coffins. Man, those coffins are crazy. Till next time. Have fun. Later.